question. What we've discovered over the past 20 years here at the Sleep Center is that there is no major psychiatric disorder that we can find in which sleep is normal. And so I think that firstly told us there is a very intimate association between your emotional mental health and your sleep health. But when it also comes to REM sleep, I think what's fascinating is that it's not just about your emotional health. It's not just about your hormonal health. Um, we've also been seeing other aspects of, you know, cognition. But then there was a, a report, I think it could have been about two years ago, out of Harvard. Um, I think it was Beth uh, Clearman's group. Um, they found that, and they replicated it in two different large populations. If you look at the contribution of different sleep stages to your lifespan, REM sleep was the strongest predictor of your longevity. And it was a linear relationship. It wasn't sort of one of these U-shape or J-shaped curves that we often see with total sleep and mortality risk. It really was linear, that the less and less REM sleep that you were getting, the higher and higher your probability of death. And then they did this great machine learning analysis, and I may get these numbers backwards, but I think for every 5% reduction in REM sleep, there was a 13% associated increased risk of mortality. Wow. Uh, and in the machine learning algorithm, what they ultimately spat out was that of all of the sleep stages, REM sleep is the most predictive of your longevity of your lifespan.